Okay, this is the basic tutorial of Fighter Maker 2 Second or 2002. This is Triple X, you know, some you may know me on Army of Spiders or Army Spiders that name that come, yeah, novelty that name that come. I'm about to show you the basics of FM Second because um, there is a tutorial, but I mean, it covers everything, but. It does it. Some people may may need to know it on um, like actual visual wise. So I'm about to show you that. I'm about to show you how to enter a character, what format it needs to be when you enter it. Um, you can enter it from sheets. I I used to do it just by copying every little sprite, but that's not how you really do it. So I'm about to show you that. Show you how to make a simple attack frame. Show you how to make. Show you what the frames do, and let's get started. All right, I'm about to just make a tutorial. Well, I got a sheet. I'll just I'll enter a character. All you do is right click. And you can enter a character's name, or if you if there's already a character, add from file. There's a lot of players you could be able to pick. This was done previously from told just to learn how to make a clash, but I hadn't got to that yet. That's really advanced. So, eh, just about to create a character. And yeah, let's just go with Sonic. Alright. Um, it has a lot of stuff set out for you already. You know, crouch, falling, jump, forward, backward, standing. Got a lot of stuff like that. This is the animations you make for the characters. Basic life gauges. We'll get to all, to, to all that later. Um. All right. Okay, let's go to the standing animation right quick. Guess I'd say it in BMP. So I'll just go go to pictures and save Sonic Sheet as a BMP. That's the format you guys set it in. I mean, there's a lot of different ki types of BMPs, but there's a certain type of BMP that you need to save it as, and it's two it's 256 color bitmap. So go to paint. It's kind of slow here, so yeah, let's go with this one. All right, let's just. I want to keep it white because it has automatic transparency, even if you don't set it. Save. Oops. Save as. This is what you save it as. 256 color bitmap. Hopefully you got it on paint or you could probably download it somewhere. I don't know. Save. Alright, so now you could be able to go to pictures. And now you could be able to view it. There you go. Sonic Advance. All you need to do is well let's 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 talk about this right quick. This is if you enter in an image and there's an already an image in there you can enter it before it. That's what the red box is. The green one is if there's an image right there, you could if you have an image framed like this, you could push this and it go after the image. Uh, this just if you have an image right there you don't want it there, you want to replace it. This is what the blue ones. It kind of says it when you hold it on there. That's just like the whole image. This takes out the transparency. This is kept on like if you have it off. If you if you have this off and you put a frame around this character, it's just it's just gonna keep the green stuff on it. So you probably most of the time you don't want to really want to have this off. So you want to put it back on and just yeah. Just put a frame around the character, make sure 
has the whole sprite image push insert don't matter since this is the first one you just keep on And here's my standing. Go to animation. Just test the little animation out. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. Alright. Oops, I don't have a background. But we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Probably after I've done showing you the basics of frame animation and all that, the frames and all that. Alright. Okay, let's do. F I have to wait to get a stage to do that, so I'll get to that later. I may have to continue this after I get a stage, but. Alright. Just to show you a little some. Um, let's go to the game systems. Alright. If you. This is the different types of stuff you can have in here. I mean, you can add a lot of customized modes, but it's a little advanced, so you may have to wait unless unless you know before I bring out an another tutorial when I do land it my dang self. So, but yeah, you gotta you gotta do the versus, the story, the versus team story, the cursor stays till game starts. All right, you have these checked if you want these modes, and this is if you don't want the edit if. You're done with the file and you have it on the internet and you don't want no one to go into it. You click on this. This will keep the person from entering the file from doing any changes to it. This puts numbers on a life bar. I don't really know much about it. I'll get to you later once I do get it. This is this is not really that important, but the cursor just it leaves when the game starts. It's pretty much self explanatory. Um this is the this is like the time between when you get hit and it's like it's I'm gonna try to figure out like what kind of time limit is millisecond seconds I'll figure it out I'll get back to you with it later and I'll probably make a part two after I add a stage I'll probably teach you after on the beginning of the second tutorial well I'll make a part two of this and hopefully I'll get it then. Alright, this is Triple X signing out. See ya.